Hi, today we are going to see how to prepare for school science fair. It is a very simple tutorial and let's begin. The very first step is to choose a correct science topic. Make sure your child is really interested into the topic you choose and also your child clearly understands the science behind the topic. It will help your child to explain the project clearly in the school science fair. School science fair is a good place where your child's exploration for science starts. The second step is to gather ideas. Usually a science topic is either classified as usual science facts or experimental type. If it is going to be a science fact topic like solar system, water cycle, then it really demands for a show model which is made out of a cardboard or play-doh or something else. If your topic comes under experimental method, then it really demands for an experiment to be shown at the science fair and it requires some results to be shown there. This is a trifold project board that can be used in the science fair and it can stand on its own. And the one I'm having here is a white one with 28 by 40 inch measurement. It is also available in different colors and different sizes. I have here two sample project boards to show you how to design the project board from scratch. I usually prefer white boards rather than colored ones. The sample boards I have here comes under the experimental type. So it requires for an experiment and also the experiment requires a procedure which requires a result to be shown here. I have shown the result in the form of tabular column. You can also show it in the form of graph, pie chart or some other type. Third step is to design a border. Even though you may think designing a border is an unnecessary step Designing a border gives a bolder look for your project board. Before start designing your project board, leave for some space or plan for some space for designing the border. You can design your own border using markers, crayons or some other art supplies. These are some of the default borders and letters that are available in store and can be easily used while designing the project board. Here I have my sample boards to show you how I have designed my border. In one of the board I have used markers and other board I have used some paper cuttings to design the border. Step 4. Step 4 is the template. This is the massive part where you need to concentrate on. Let's see what is in the template. It has a title header. Title header must go right top of the project board and, it, and the letters on the title header must be very big enough to be shown. Next abstract. Abstract is simply what is the purpose of the project. Next comes the research part. Research is the simple science definition or the science concept behind your project. Next comes the hypothesis part. This part is simply an assumption or a guess. You can define this part as a cause and effect type. For example, I have written in my project board if you get any magnetic material near the magnet, it gets attracted. If you bring a non-magnetic material, then it is not attracted to the magnet. This is a type of cause and effect. Whatever the experiment or the model you are going to show at the science fair is clearly defined in this part. It may include a procedure or materials needed 
or results or analysis. Results and analysis can be shown in the form of pie charts, graphs, tables or some other type. And one more thing, for designing the project board, I have used different color papers and over that I have pasted white printed sheets. It gives a nice look. On the other board, I have used only red color sheets. Over that, I have pasted white printed sheets. Finally, you could add some real-time examples for your project. And also, you can add the conclusion part at the end of the project. So, the board is finally ready to be presented at the science fair. If you have any doubts regarding designing the project board or choosing a topic for the science fair or any other topics discussed here, please feel free to leave your questions or comments in the comment box below. So have a fun filled project presentation. Happy science fair day. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you.